Why am I exposing myself like this? Vanilla milkshake with an espresso shot. This is a real camera. I need to have one massive old declutter. I've never worn this much makeup. Does that not thrill you? Morning everyone, welcome back to another weekly vlog. Here we are again. Do you know what? I actually can't believe how long I've kept these weekly vlogs up for, but I'm loving it. I love a good old weekly vlog. They're always the videos that I click on first in my subscription box. I love seeing what people get up to. I love the chatty casual vibes. Um, and so yeah, I really do feel like, do you know what? Let's have a little reflection. So it's a year today since lockdown started. It's the 23rd of March. This past year is when I started the weekly vlogs, and honestly, I have never Never felt as close to you guys as I've gotten this past year. I feel like I know you guys better. I've definitely talked to you guys more on a personal level. I feel like you guys know me better in my personal life. I just feel like We've really built a bond over this past year so thank you very much if you've been watching these vlogs and you've enjoyed them i know they're not the most exciting content on youtube but you guys don't like when i say that you're so sweet you're always like hand stop putting your vlogs down um but yeah i'm glad you've enjoyed them and i hope that they've somehow helped you over this past year to just like forget about normal life or i don't know that's it really. I've not really taught you anything. I've not really not really showcased any talents. <laughs> but I hope they have been a little escapism from the news. Currently about 11 o'clock. Had a lovely little walk this morning. The weather's actually quite nice today. Which makes such a difference to my mood. I instantly feel more uplifted. It's a little bit sunny. It's not too cold. And this afternoon at about half past three. I've actually got a FaceTime. Which is being recorded for a little project that I talked about a few weeks ago in the vlog. Just a little catch up thing for that. So that is my only plan today other than editing the video I filmed yesterday which is why I didn't vlog yesterday because I was filming the what I eat in a day video that will have been the last video I uploaded on my channel so if you're not seeing that go and check it out I'm actually getting a bit hungry again now so I might go and make some food in a minute but it's 11 o'clock it's like a weird time to eat isn't it oh my god guys let me talk to you about this some of you may have heard let me prop you up on something I'm using this dog bone um some of you may have heard of a gua sha gua sha I don't know if that's how you pronounce it. It's basically like a facial massager tool. I got one in Glossy Box a while ago and that's when I first heard about them and started to do a little bit of research. And I've really enjoyed using that one. So I wanted to invest in one that was a little bit pricier, but this one is made of real rose quartz. So this is my Gua Sha, handcrafted from real rose quartz. I got this on Etsy and I actually got it in a pack of two. So it came with this and the face roller, also made of rose quartz, for £23. That's really good for this because one of these alone from the white company is £20 and these were £23 with free shipping as well. They're from a brand called Naturally Legit and this feels so good rolling over your face. I'm not going to do it right now because I've just done my makeup but basically the Gua Sha it's supposed to help you define your jawline and different parts of your face and it also helps with lymph node drainage. Your lymph nodes are like here in your neck. They're all over your neck I think but if they build up it can make you feel really tired. It can cause fatigue so if you drain your lymph nodes it's supposed to help. It fits on your jaw like this and if you push it I'm not going to do it obviously but if you push it like this I think it's like five times or for 30 seconds something like that I'm still learning about it it helps to define your jawline I also get my roller and do it upwards because that's how you drain your lymph nodes like this you can also use it on your cheekbones you can drain your lymph nodes in your head I think that's your lymph nodes I'm not sure. Like I said, still doing my research, but I'm really enjoying using them. And when they're cold, it feels so nice on your skin. I'll leave a link to this little duo in the description down below. I think it's made by a small business, which is lovely. And the quality is so nice. And it arrived really quickly as well. So yeah, if you're looking for a little facial massaging tool, I'd recommend these two. If you're wondering where Sunny is right now, you can barely see her. Look, has anyone spotted the puppy? She's in her crate. We've got into a really good routine over the past week or so. As soon as we get back from our morning walk, she takes herself into her crate and I've like shut the gate here so she can't get out of this area. 
But the crate door is open. She just loves her little lammy. See her cuddling her lamb? Oh my god, how precious is that? It's really handy because it gives me an hour or two. I just leave her in there until she wakes up to get on with some work and just purely focus on that. Because no one tells you when you get a puppy that it's actually really difficult to balance work and spending time with them. At least it has been for me because Sunny's not a very independent dog. So if she's around, it is quite hard to work. I'm really, really pleased that we've got into this little routine because I feel like my life is starting to get a bit back on track. I'm not just a stay at home dog mum, like I can get my work done. One thing I haven't made progress with is my wardrobe, so I need to do a declutter again already. I've bought so much during lockdown that, oh, it literally stresses me out so much. You know when you have to squeeze things in, it's not a fun time. I don't even wear half this stuff anymore. And my jumper wardrobe is just another story. Look at that. It actually gives me anxiety looking at that. There is absolutely no space for more. Like, oh, it's just... Look, see how much they're hidden? You can't even see them. I need to have one massive old declutter. I'll probably film a video of it, to be honest, and, like, start my spring wardrobe again. I'm very ruthless with my clothes. Like, if I haven't worn it in a month, I'm like, oh, I don't want to wear that anymore. <laughs> but, I mean, that's great, because it's a lot of donations. But then I always refill the space. But also, size 10 definitely fits me more comfortable than size 8 these days. So, everything that's a size 8 or anything that I think, do you know what, that's a little bit too tight or I don't feel quite quite as comfortable in that anymore. I just want to get rid of it. I'm not here for those negative vibes. I want them to go. I want to start fresh with sizes that fit me, outfits I feel comfortable in. I want to be able to pick up anything from my wardrobe and just wear it out straight away and not think, hmm, do I like it? Do I not? Like, I'm just not here for those negative vibes. We're moving on. <laughs> Ready, city, go. You've lost it. <laughs> So we've just come down to the park this evening because it's a really nice evening. I think we're probably going to catch the sunset as well. But Sunny's at that age now where she doesn't have to be on the lead all the time. I did actually get a few questions about Sunny being on the lead because she often is. But I'm very careful with like the kind of dogs that are around. If there are any other dogs around, she's not really off the lead. Because one, she's scared of big dogs. And two, I don't know how they're going to react or how she's going to react if other dogs are on the lead. I just think it's respectful to keep her on. But... Sunny, don't touch that. But when there's no one around, she loves chasing the ball. Go on, and her recall is really good as well now. Sunny, come. There we go, good girl. And the other thing is with letting her off the lead is I'm very aware of other people that are around. I think it's probably because I had a phobia of dogs. If there are any kids or anything like that, I would never let her off around them just because if they've got a phobia, I know how damaging that could be to them. Even adults, you know, not everyone likes dogs, so. She's definitely not allowed to run up to everyone or any other dog, but she is allowed to chase after the ball. Be steady, go! Sunny, come! Stop it. Look at my lunch today. I cooked some brown rice and added the juice and zest of one lime and some desiccated coconut. Then I added a grated carrot, red pepper and spring onions and chopped up some corn chicken nuggets to go on the top. Don't tell me I'm not fancy. This looks delicious. I feel like this rice is going to be really nice for barbecues in the summer. Like a really nice little side rice salad. <sighs> Hello guys, it's a new day, it's a new dawn, it's not a new life for me, but it is a fresh day. So yesterday, my vlogging plan kind of went down the pot, ended up having a bit of a brain fuzz yesterday. I don't know why that just happens sometimes, obviously I am still on my antidepressants, so it's definitely a journey, like coming off those. And every now and again, I would say once sometimes twice a week I just have a day where I feel awful and that was yesterday but I never let it carry on to the next day so we're back we're better than ever no we're not but we're back <laughs> I do feel a lot better today but I feel like whether you've struggled with your mental health or not everyone during this lockdown has had ups and downs some days are naturally going to be better than others so yesterday I decided instead of being a misery picking up the camera I'm just going to leave it until today today I've been editing pretty much all day but I've got that done so I feel good about that I've got some other life admin things done today all in all I've been a lot more productive than yesterday I've got something really exciting to show you it's actually not like exciting I'm just very excited about it but you're probably all going to think I'm a bit sad you may have seen me talk about this on my Instagram story because I've just 
just posted about it. But I saw on Emily Philpott's Instagram story yesterday that she'd bought this and it had just arrived and as soon as I saw it, I had to order it. How? cute is this this is a real camera it actually works and it's actually got quite a few settings so it's got pictures you can take videos voice note it's got games on it as well basically it's a kids digital camera but the pictures and videos it takes because they're not like amazing quality it looks kind of like a disposable picture i've just spoken to emily and she said she's not sure if the videos are compatible with max so I'm not too sure about the video side of it yet, but she said the pictures are absolutely fine and I bought it for pictures anyway, to be honest, because I just think in the summer, when I'm going out with my friends, going on little adventures, going to coffee shops, it's so small, so easy to fit in your bag and you get like almost disposable pictures from it, but you can take as many as you want. It's got a memory card in it that's 32 gigabytes, so you can take quite a lot as well. And best part is it was 20 quid. 20 pounds it does feel very light like i'm amazed that there's even a camera in there to be honest but i've tested it out and do you know what it's actually good <laughs> this is the box it came in it's given me kids iphone vibes and um, you can get pink or blue i went for pink obviously record childhood keep beautiful how cute it came with the charger as well it also came with this thing um so you can like take this off and you can put that on it to carry it around if you want to I'm not sure i would do that to be honest with you or even better you can clip it together and wear it around your neck blimey what a fashion statement when you turn it on look at this excuse my nails i need to redo them look how cute it reminds me of 64 zoo lane did anyone used to watch that i'm sure you did but you've got photo video and voice notes look at me thinking i'm an expert and then this is like to see what pictures you've taken the games and the settings when it arrives the buttons are so loud but you can turn it down in the settings you can make it silent if you want to but i've just taken this picture don't you think like imagine with your friends when you're out on a sunny day having a little picnic it's so tiny as well i can't get over how small it is like this like the size of my finger but disposable cameras actually get really expensive to keep buying so i think this is fab i've not played the games yet oh my god snake <gasps> anyone remember this come on god it goes a bit slow doesn't it i used to play this for hours on my mum's nokia i'm just gonna sit and play this for ages now don't mind me here i am on my little pink camera um obviously i'm just standing in my lounge right now but imagine summer adventures sitting on the beach with all your friends well, look, the vibes are going to be immaculate. Look how far I've gotten it, guys. I'm so good at snake. Wow, all those hours of playing it when I was little have really paid off now. Good morning. I feel very 90s today. I've got this little sweatshirt on from... I think this was from Primark. Could have been Boohoo, I'm not sure. I've got my George jeans on again. Love these so much. I just feel like a very 90s vibe today. Although, uh, this curl ain't it. <laughs> please excuse that i'm trying to like get it to drop out you know when you accidentally go a bit heavy handed with your curl that's what happened but today is friday it's goggle box friday always a good day and today for lunch today going to mcdonald's i've not been to mcdonald's actually it's been about three weeks nearly four weeks though and even that was only for a breakfast so i actually don't know when the last time i had a proper mcdonald's was i'm going today because of TikTok. <laughs> Again, it's always TikTok, in it? I saw on TikTok, if you get a vanilla milkshake with a shot of espresso and mix them together, it's delicious. So I'm gonna go there. I'm hoping that the milkshake machine is working. It probably won't be. It never is. I've just posted on my Instagram story saying, I wish you could phone your local McDonald's and ask them. Like, I wish they had a milkshake helpline because it would save so many journeys. Like, if the milkshake machine's not working, half the time I don't want to go. But I'm going to head there for lunch and then I've got a very exciting box of stuff to show you this afternoon. It's in front of me. It's arrived. It's from Cherries. You guys might have heard of Cherries. I've seen quite a few influencers working with them, actually. It's basically like B&M or Home Bargains, but on an app and delivered to your door. Way more convenient. So I'm going to show you everything that I picked out from Cherries. If you love a bargain haul, this is the vlog for you. But for right this second, I'm going to head to McDonald's. I'm going to go all out today, you know. I'm going to go for it because I've not had a McDonald's for so long. I might have a big tasty, but I'm not sure. I like a McChicken sandwich. My mouth's actually watering. I hope the chips are hot and salty. I've been really, really good with my lunches all week. I've had really nice, healthy, light lunches. But it's Friday, it's nearly the weekend. Treat yourself, live on the edge. I've got a lot done this morning, including editing this vlog, and I just thought I would show you. Most of the time when I edit, I sit on my little chair at my dressing table. This is if I'm in my bedroom, by the way. Facing my bed, I just think, isn't that a lovely view to edit to? Oh, mum's hoovering. 
children. Sorry if you can hear that. Dog's barking again. Here we go. But it just makes me feel really calm to be able to see out the window. Lovely blue skies today. The way the sun shines on my bed. It's just lovely. I'm really appreciating the little things in life today. Hi, um, can I get a chicken barbecue smokehouse? Uh, medium meal. <laughs> yes, please. Can I have a vanilla milkshake, please? APS three. Um, and espresso as well. Expresso? Yep. Yes, please. APS? Um, mozzarella dippers as well. Oh my god, the milkshake machine's working. Oh my god. I just can't believe it. <laughs> Sunny doesn't like the drive through as much as I do. Okay, vanilla milkshake and espresso. Got the goods, let's mix them together. I just got a single shot of espresso. They didn't ask me if I want a single or a double. I assume they would just automatically give you single. So this goes in here. I really hope this is nice. Maybe I should have ordered a backup drink. <laughs> Let's mix it all together. Oh, our food's coming. Food's here. Hello. <laughs> Absolutely lovely. We got the wrong order. So we've literally just parked up. Mum's run in. I've texted her what the order should have been, so I've got to stay here with Sunny. But anyway, let's try this drink. I've still not tried it, but it's all mixed up together. Vanilla milkshake with an espresso shot. Oh, that is good. Tastes like a frappuccino, but you definitely don't need a double espresso shot because it's already quite strong. I rate that a lot. Well, at least there was one successful part of this McDonald's trip, right? Thank you, TikTok, for yet again improving my life by a solid 94%. Here we go. I've just got home with it. I went for the chicken barbecue smokehouse. Got my fries. Got my mozzarella dippers. Got my little salsa. I'm very happy about this. I'm not going to lie. Okay, then. So let's get on with the cherries haul. It's a big box. I'll insert a picture here of the size of the box. It's honestly huge. And when I opened it up, it looked so pretty. And I wasn't expecting that, I have to say. Okay, so before I start, I just want to quickly say that this box was very kindly gifted by the team over at Cherries, but this isn't sponsored. I'm not being paid to mention this. They've just very kindly given me a voucher to use. So I picked all of these things out myself. And if you guys do love a bag, head over to the Cherries app. And if you use the code FABULOUSHANNAH20, you'll get 20% off your first order on the app. Thank you again to the team at Cherries for this lovely, lovely gift. I've kind of put things in two different sections. So I've got a laundry section, a cleaning section, a food section, and a like body care hygiene section. Let's start off with the body care section. So the first things I've got are a couple of different shower gels. First up is this one from Dove. These are my favourite shower gels ever. I absolutely love them. And I've never seen this scent before. It's pistachio cream and magnolia. Oh my god, that smells so good. And the other shower gel I got is this one. It's cotton clouds and white cashmere. Oh no, it's all coming out. Oh dear. It smells lovely though. It's sweet, but it's not overly sweet. It's not like a marshmallow scent. Also got another toothpaste. So this is the Colgate Max White Sparkle Diamonds. Hopefully it'll make me gnashes shine. And I picked up a mouthwash as well. So this is the Listerine spare mint mouthwash i'm hoping it's not spicy you know mouthwashes are too strong i don't like that i actually struggle to keep it in my mouth for 30 seconds if it's too spicy so i'm hoping that the spare mint means it's not going to be too spicy then i picked up a baileys and hard in hand soap this scent is so dreamy we buy this one quite a lot so this is the jasmine and apple blossom scent it smells so fresh i love that can i also say cherries have the best prices for these kind of things that i've ever found i can't remember the exact prices of each thing but this entire order came to about 70 pounds and there is so much here the next thing i got is an exfoliating foot pill my best friend leanne recommends these she keeps telling me to try them you basically put it on your feet and then seven days later your feet basically shed like a snake it's a little bit disgusting but leanne said your feet feel lovely after it's a good job i'm single because if i was sleeping next to somebody i can imagine if my feet started to peel in the night Ooh, oh my god i can't even think about it. it makes me feel ill next up i'm gonna move on to i think the cleaning section because i feel like a lot of you guys will enjoy this part first thing i got is a disinfectant never thought i'd be talking about disinfectant on my channel but here we are i can't even say that i do enjoy simple things like this i know you guys too so i probably could have predicted talking about disinfectant but this one's from astonish it's in the scent peach blossom how good does that sound and this is kind of like zaflora but i don't always rate zaflora's scents i have to be honest Oh my god, this smells exactly like, you know, those little fizzy peach sweets. They are absolutely delicious. This smells like them. Then I picked up a pink stuff spray because I've never tried this. I've only ever used the paste, so I'm excited. Got a couple of bleaches. My mum asked me to pick these up because she gets through a lot of bleach, so these ones are pink. My mum also asked me to pick up a sif. This one's also pink. We normally get the yellow one, but if I'm choosing it, it's going to be pink. Fairy liquid as well. This is the pomegranate scent. Lovely. And I also saw this sif perfect finish mold stain remover. We've never tried this before, but I thought like this is going to be really good for like, you know, the edges around your kitchen sink and stuff like that, where it just gets a little bit gross. Got a kettle descaler. Woo. And some micro 
microwave and fridge freezer wipes. Then I got some washing machine cleaner. Um, didn't realise I've got six boxes of this. They do have like bundle deals on the Cherries app. So I don't know if this was a bundle deal or if I've accidentally added six to my order, but we're going to have the cleanest washing machine in Essex. I've got some bathroom surface wipes as well and a fridge freshener. I wouldn't say our fridge smells particularly bad. Actually, when sometimes my mum's cooking like egg mayo and she puts the eggs in the fridge, oh my god, it smells so bad. So hopefully this will fix that when my mum's making egg mayo sandwiches. Also got some mini gel air fresheners because how cute are they? If JLS were air fresheners, this is what they'd look like. <laughs> Let's do the utensil section next. So I've got two things in the utensil section. The first is this cup and spoon set. This is actually so handy because I've been doing a lot of baking and a lot of the time the recipes are measured in cups, which is what they use in America. So the amount of times I've had to like change the cups to grams on a different tab on Google is so annoying. So now I've got the cups and I've got a new set of spoons, which look way cuter than the ones I've been using. And then I've got one of the bundle deals of utensils. So I think this whole bundle was like maybe 10 pounds around 10 pounds anyway it might have been 12 but there is so much here for 10 pounds so first of all we've got a silicone brush all super cute colors as well we've got this ladle we've got a spatula we've got a whisk we've got another spoon type thing how adorable i just love this color we've got a strainer all of this for like 10 pounds how good is that and then finally this is actually why i bought this entire set a food grater with a container underneath and a handle wow does that not thrill you? Because it does me. The fact that you can hold the grater, grate your cheese, and all the cheese is in the tub. <sighs> Mind is blown. You best believe when I have my own house one day, if the utensils aren't this colour, they're not coming in. Because that's cute. Next up, I've got a quick little laundry section. So first thing is some comfort. Lovely. We've never used this scent before. It's water lily and lime. That's not my favourite scent I've smelled, I have to be honest, but I feel like it would be nice on my like, clothes still. Just wasn't in there. I'd use it as a perfume. Then I got this Lenore Crease Releaser. I've seen so many people on Instagram raving about this. <laughs> like I scroll down my feed and every post is, oh my god, have you tried the Lenore Crease Refresher? I've got a couple of these little washing beads. So the first are these ones from Lenore. These are in the scent Gold Orchid. Squeeze and sniff. Oh, that smells very warm, like a vanilla -y scent. And the other one is from Air Pure, and these are in the scent Fuchsia and Pearls. Oh, they smell nice. I'd say I prefer the Lenore ones, I've got to be honest, but they, these ones are more fresh. Got some tumble dryer sheets, and also some surf washing powder in the scent Coconut Bliss. And the last thing in the laundry section, oh, this is kind of the cleaning section actually, fabric refresher. You just spray it on any fabrics and it refreshes them. <laughs> Good if you've got smelly dogs. I've got a dog, but she's not that smelly. Oh my God, look at her. You are so cute. She's like, he's me. And the last section is the food section. So the first thing I've got is a red velvet cake mix. Now... Don't come for me. I love baking and I would usually do all my recipes from scratch. I'm getting quite good at it if I do say so myself. But I don't really know if I like red velvet or not. So I thought if I get this cake mix, which was super cheap, you literally just add eggs, oil, water and icing. That's quite a lot of things to add actually. <laughs> but I thought if I try this first, then I'll know whether I like red velvet and then I can invest in like all the ingredients. Do you know what I mean? I just thought it was a cheaper way of testing out whether I like it. I got my mum an Easter egg because she wouldn't buy one for herself, even though she bought me one because I asked for one because I'm a child. Pretzels, pretzels, pretzels. These remind me of the aeroplane because it's the first time I tried them on the way to Florida. I had a little bag of these, lovely. Um, these are the sour cream and chive ones. They are delicious. Next up, I've got this chopper thing. So you put like your garlic or your whatever's in there and then you press this down. Oh. And the last two things I got are some cherry jam because I was looking everywhere for this last week when I wanted to bake and I couldn't find it. And these little mini cream eggs. How cute. And that, my friends, is everything that I picked out from the Cherries app. Go and check it out. I literally scrolled through it for hours. I'm not even exaggerating. It took me so long to choose these pieces because they've got so much on there. And don't forget, code FABULOUSHANNA20 will get you 20% off your first order. Thank you again to the team at Cherries. This house is going to be the cleanest yummiest best smelling house in all the village i've been doing the most stupid thing for like 20 minutes i've been sat here laying in sunny's dog bed scrolling down tiktok stroking her stroking her thinking she's really soft today i've been stroking the rug
There you go. She's like, oh, you found me. My makeup brushes need cleaning ridiculously badly. Like, they're so awful. I actually, oh, I can't even remember the last time I washed my makeup brushes. How bad is that? Let me show you the worst one. I don't know why. <laughs> like, why am I exposing myself like this? Oh, God, it's disgusting. This one is another particular fave. Absolutely gross. Moral of the story is I'm going to stop being lazy and clean my makeup brushes now. So, I use this little, um style pro thingy you know the cleaners that your brushes and then you take it out and, and it dries them i really like it i've used this for years i don't use it that many times because i do not clean my makeup brushes enough so let's get cleaning and hopefully my face will enjoy putting some makeup on tomorrow it's got to the point where honestly this brush i'm putting makeup on with it and more makeup's going into the brush than it is on my face because it's just like hi friends i remember you my concealer's like rejoined its family on this brush How much better does that look so quick as well and this one as well let me put a little before and after look at that difference i mean that's disgusting but how satisfying i'm so glad i've done that finally look at her watching the fish <laughs> oh she's got little fish friends I actually don't think you guys are ready to see me right now. I look like a different person. Are you serious? <laughs> I haven't worn this much makeup for a really long time, if ever. Um, but today is Saturday. I'm shooting a job today, which is the only reason I've got this much makeup on. Looking in the viewfinder, that does not look like me. I'm not that good at makeup, so this took quite a while. But I'm shooting an Instagram job today, and basically I had to dress up as Kim Kardashian, so I've had to recreate one of her pictures. Not saying I look anything like Kim K, obviously. The woman's a goddess. I've just tried to recreate her makeup and outfit best I can. I've never worn this much makeup. I'm not sure how to feel about it. I don't know if I like it or not, but I'm gonna get this job done. It's something really different for me. I've really enjoyed doing it. I've enjoyed putting this outfit together. I've also done that ponytail trick to make your hair look longer. So this is one little ponytail. And then let me try and show you the back. We have a second ponytail underneath. So when it's all together, it looks super long. But don't that look kind of bougie? <laughs> Once again, I've misjudged the size of the saucepan for the pasta. Look at this, living on the absolute edge. <laughs> Today's lunch is super simple. So I've got spinach and ricotta tortellini. And I'm just going to mix in this tomato and mascarpone sauce. Hopefully it's going to be yummy. I'm super hungry. It's actually, what's the time? Oh my god, it's three o'clock already. This day has gone so quick today. Lunch is served i kind of wish i had like some little bits of basil to put on the top to make it look a bit posher you know but you can put as much basil on it as you want it's still pasta from a packet hand this is a good a day as any to start the rebuilding of life so my lovelies, it's now about half past five. I'm just about to go and take Sunny for a little evening stroll. I'm gonna take her down to the park and throw the ball for her to wear her out for the evening. But that brings us to the end of this weekly vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to go and check out Cherries. If you want a little discount, use code FabulousHanna20. I genuinely really recommend it and I can't wait to order again. Let me know in the comments down below what is the best thing that happened to you this week. I would love to know. Do subscribe to see my future videos, hopefully from next week the vlogs will get a little bit more exciting as restrictions start to ease fingers crossed anyway but for now thanks for watching i hope you're having a lovely week and i'll see you again soon with another little video bye guys love ya